all right guys welcome back to my channel my name is sam um if you're new to the, to the channel please do make sure you subscribe to the channel so that you can keep getting updates from us and also if you already subscribed please do make sure you, you like this video and also you know drop a comment so others can get to see it it helps with the algorithm all right guys let's go through uh um, the important news that we have in the crypto space so the first one here says uh un agency accept first stable coin donations worth 2.5 million dollars to help ukrainian <laughs> ukrainian refugees right um so there's been this war uh, that's what we've been told on the, on the, on the, on the media mainstream media that there's a war in, in ukraine uh, in ukraine um caused by or started by russia now I'm, i have to say mainstream media because uh, uh, you know i don't have anyone there i don't know the situation of things there i just tell i'm just telling you what the media says so there's been this war and of course binance made a donation uh in busd which is a stable coin um from the binance blockchain or from the binance team and the good thing is that the, the good news here is that the united nations actually accepted the donations now here's the fact if cryptocurrency isn't here to stay, if cryptocurrency is dying anytime soon, if cryptocurrency is not, is not going to be um, accepted as a means of payment or as a currency, then the United States wouldn't have accepted it. So this is a good sign for crypto as a whole. Right, so in some other uh, related news, uh, Central Bank of Australia plans to expand crypto as services to 6.5 million users. delayed by red tape uh, these guys can only delay these things but it's it's definitely going to happen right we all know cryptocurrency has yet to, has, is here to, is here to stay the only issue that the governments are having with cryptocurrency is that they've not come up with quick and easy ways right to either tax cryptocurrency or fully monitor its cryptocurrency that's problem number one issue number two is that uh, the government around the world are trying to speed up their own central bank digital currency which is which is a uh more like a cryptocurrency owned by the, by, by, by the federal government so that's the issue why reason why they're delaying most of these things okay moving on mayor mayor unveils miami bull statue with laser eyes to kick off bitcoin 2022 so so uh there was a bitcoin conference uh there's a bitcoin conference that, that, that started, it started yesterday and this is what uh, this is the statue and it looks pretty amazing um i wasn't there <laughs> wish i was there and of course the, the president of, of El Salvador couldn't make it and then he sent a message because there have been some some serious issues with, with gang members and in El Salvador and to be honest with you he has been doing a good job in trying to uh tape down what is going on with with those guys the philippines top payment provider adds crypto to its mobile app so um that's another crypto adoption here from the from the city of from Philippines, right? So another news: one fear to go global Bitcoin hash rates is now controlled by listed companies. So I I will do a video on this. I already have a video on this, right? Uh, but it's too old. I'm going to do a video on this talking about Bitcoin hash rates. Uh, the things you should be careful about, the things you you should know. Uh, but just in summary, Bitcoin hash rates is just the energy around uh, used to mine Bitcoin. And the hash rate usually um, goes up or comes down. So um, yeah, so that news is that that update will come will come soon. But uh, according to the charts that I checked recently, the hash rate it looks pretty good after um, the Chinese guys banned uh, crypto mining. Moving on, Singaporean fintech at Bitcoin payments for merchant with BitPay partnership. Bitcoin adoption is coming and they're looking at a hundred and a hundred and thirty million consumers. And and of course I, I know I know part part of the issue that people have or part part of the questions I had when I saw the news was if Bitcoin is so slow, how will a hundred and thirty million users use Bitcoin? Right? I have the answer, it's coming up in a moment. People should invest in all of the major layer ones, says veteran trader. <clears throat> yeah, I'm a trader too, and I, I Correct. Personally, I don't trade any layer two cryptocurrency at all. I don't trade any layer two cryptocurrency because um, layer two cryptocurrencies are cryptocurrencies that are there 
to make layer one faster for example bitcoin let's use ethereum as an example ethereum is a layer one protocol right and ethereum is not fast so what people do or did was to create another cryptocurrency right that will make ethereum faster uh, just know that's how it works don't bother, don't bother about the, uh, the technicalities that's that's what they've done over the years but now my question is by the time ethereum now becomes faster what happens to the layer two solution so i kind of agree with this guy so moving on um i wanted to talk about this over buffet news but i think i will just let it slide let's just stick to crypto right so cash app users can now invest paychecks into bitcoin yeah this was announced yesterday in the bitcoin uh conference yesterday so um you know if you're receiving your your paycheck right you can actually uh put a certain percentage into in into crypto into bitcoin you know directly using cash app and, and of course uh you can you can you, you will be able to set a percentage do you want to put five percent ten percent or twenty percent and that is that is big adoption coming to crypto right there moving on former u.s senator and house member joins crypto council for innovation right as you can see guys the future is here if you still have or you're still in the country where where your government are still trying are still threatening you for using cryptocurrency just know you're way ahead of, the, of your government and keep buying you know st um, stacking sats buying cryptocurrencies you know this year every day this year means the dollar cost origin i think I, we have a video on that already fdic wants us banks to report on current and intended crypto related activities so as I, as we mentioned earlier or as i mentioned earlier the only issue that the government are having right now is just that they can easily track what crypto users are doing and that is why they don't like private cryptocurrencies like monero and dash all right in some more bullish news terra buys 200 million in avax for reserves as rival stable coins emerge right so um <clears throat> Terra has um, a stablecoin called called UST, right? And now and now UST is backed by um, by Bitcoin and Terra. I think I have I have an image that that it describes that. Let me let me see if we can open it. All right, so this is the image right here. I uh, posted it on our signal group, signals group, right? Just in case you wanted to be getting signals for cryptocurrency and you know you want to start trading, we have a signal group you can join. So this is what it looks like. Let me see if I can expand this. I hope you guys can still see right so um uh this is avax right and this is bitcoin this is the reserve and it's gonna be um for for the usd to be to, uh, to be to be minted out right uh, it, there's gonna be some bond process one bit one one dollar equivalent of one usd is equals to this amount of bitcoin blah 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 uh you know this 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 one will be born to mint just know <laughs> luna Stablecoin UST is now backed by Bitcoin and AVAX. Moving on. Remember I mentioned something earlier about um, millions of people using Bitcoin for transaction? Yes, there's a solution for that. And that solution is called Lightning Network. <coughs> Excuse me. And personally, right, they, they, I know, right? I've also talked about it on several videos, right? You know, people have, uh, of course, Lightning Network is a layer two solution for the Bitcoin network. It helps make Bitcoin transaction faster, right, and even cheaper. Uh, uh, people have issues with with um with layer two. I think this is the most popular layer two solution that doesn't have that doesn't have its own token, right? Uh, people have an issue with with layer two solutions because uh, the transactions on layer two are not on the Bitcoin um, network right but uh lightning is just a solution for 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 bitcoin to be faster and if you're wondering how big this is going to be it's going to be on shopify and if you look at the stats on shopify shopify has well over 2.1 million visitors per day right so this is big news right and crypto adoption is coming don't sell off your bitcoin to whales right and let me know what you think about uh this update uh, most especially about um lightning network with strike on shopify all right please make sure you subscribe to this channel and like this video all right see ya